Hello YouTube, I want to put a quick video out on my sump. Um, I've kind of known this fact for a while, but I really didn't pay attention to it. I uh, just kind of forgot about it. But uh, when I went to a local fish store, I was told that I overheard a guy saying he was about to clean out his sump and get rid of the uh, Chetomorpha uh, to thin it out. So I um, kind of asked him a few questions and I talked to the uh, owner of the fish store and he did also um, go along with what the guy was saying that you need to thin out your Chato. Oops. You need to thin out your Chato in order to uh, let it grow again. So if it's kind of getting overgrown like in here, and see that I've got a great amount of Chetomorpha there. So I'm going to thin it out to about half and take it to the local fish store and hopefully he doesn't have any more and maybe we can water. I just need some more, some more water, some oral water and some uh, sea water. So hopefully that will work out and I'll let you know on further videos how it turns out. I'm going to do a quick water change. I got about 20 minutes before I got to get out of here to get on the road before the uh, fish door closes. So I'm going to do a quick water change and the water that I do remove from the sump, from the tank with the water change, I'm going to use that uh, to store the chato and bring that over in the bucket. So check out my next video and I'll let you know how things went and then also do a sump update as far as the results of the chato growing again and how much time it took. Thanks for watching.